Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Boot and Wildlife. Today, I'm out here searching for waterfowl. Right behind me are a couple of green winged teal. Waterfowl are a very unique type of bird, and today we're going to be talking about the three groups of waterfowl, which are ducks, geese, and swans. So be sure to subscribe and hope you guys enjoy. Birds can be found all over North America, especially in areas with large bodies of water. A certain group of birds, known as the waterfowl, thrive in these locations. Waterfowl are a unique type of aquatic bird that can be found in lakes, rivers, ponds, swamps, marshes, and oceans. There are three different kinds of waterfowl, ducks, geese, and swans. Ducks are the most diverse of the waterfowl, with about 41 species here in North America. Male ducks are known as drakes, and females are known as hens. The drakes have a variety of vibrant colors in order to attract hens. Drakes are also territorial. If another drake intrudes on their territory, or gets too close to their mate, they will attack. This bufflehead drake charges another male for getting too close to his female. Afterwards, he even rears up and beats his wings to show dominance. Hens, on the other hand, have dull colors in order to camouflage. While they are nesting, they are vulnerable to many predators, so blending into the environment is critical for the survival of both her and her eggs. There are two different kinds of duck, diving ducks and dabbling ducks. Dabbling ducks are a group that typically feeds in shallow water. In order to feed, they skim around the surface, searching for aquatic plant life and invertebrates. When they want to feed in deeper water, they will go face first into the water with their bottoms sticking up. This behavior is known as tipping. A dabbler's feet are located near the center of their bodies. Diving ducks feed in deep water, and as the name implies, they dive for their food. They feed on plants and invertebrates on the lake bottoms. They are capable of going very deep, with some species being able to go down to 200 feet. Their feet are placed more to the rear of their body. Mergansers are a unique kind of duck. They do not feed on aquatic plant life, but rather animals such as insects, frogs, fish, and crayfish. The bills of these carnivorous ducks are serrated in order to hold on to slippery fish. These streamlined birds are a type of diving duck and are perfectly designed for hunting fish underwater. One thing to note is that the word merganser is derived from the Latin word mergus and answer which translates to plunging goose. Geese are a large species of waterfowl that are a familiar sight to anyone who has visited their local park. The males are called ganders, while the females are just called geese. Unlike ducks, both the male and female have similar feathers. Geese are more terrestrial than ducks, and will spend a considerable amount of time on land, grazing on plants such as grass. Geese mate for life, with both parents taking care of the young, called goslings. The adorable goslings will be viciously defended by their parents. Canada Goose is both the largest and most frequently observed goose in North America. Adults can typically weigh between 5 and 14 pounds, with females being slightly smaller than the males. Swans are the largest of the waterfowl. These majestic birds are best known for their beautiful appearance 
and their extreme territorial behavior. These swans will attack anything that they see as a threat, including humans. The males are known as cobs, and the females are known as pens. Swans have long necks which they use to find food. They eat a variety of plant life and will typically eat about 9 pounds of vegetation per day. One thing to note is that the most common swan in America is a non-native species. Mute swans originate from Eurasia and were brought here in the mid-1800s as decorations for parks and ponds. Waterfowl are without a doubt a very interesting kind of bird that can be found across the world. Here in the United States, there are many places where you can observe wild waterfowl. If you decide to go out and look for these birds, be sure to bring a good pair of binoculars and a field guide. Also, always be safe and have fun while exploring wild places. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for new wild adventures. Also, comment below if you have any questions about waterfowl.